now it's 2013 and we're back back from touring with Forte um, back in Santa Rosa and uh, yeah so pretty much we just like solidified it by doing um, start doing shows up here we just started doing a bunch of shows up here and uh, I started uh, booking over at uh, a spot called Quincy's in Runa Park and uh, pretty much uh, they they didn't really allow hip hop at that time because uh, of some stuff that happened in the early 2000s um, I guess hip hop was like kind of shunned in my area and uh, you know it gets a bad name everywhere you go it's just it, it's how you perceive it but anyway so um, I used to do a lot of different kind of music I, I've been in reggae bands and rock bands and stuff so my other bands actually used to play at this venue back in the day and uh, I ended up coming back on tour and trying to get Forte some shows, you know, just like bringing him up to our area, be like, man, he's up here, we rocking with him, like, fuck with us, you know what I'm saying, like, like it's real, like, like so I'm trying to find a venue at this point, and uh, I go up to Quincy's, and I talk to the owner, and I let him know that I played many shows here, and we've done a lot of different rock shows, and we've done a lot of some reggae shows and stuff here, and, uh, he was a little skeptical to let me actually uh, start throwing like shows over there, and I don't blame him because hip hop, you know, there's a lot of a lot of stuff that goes on around it. But uh, you know, we did it a little bit differently. OG Forte, you know, he, he's all about his performance. If you ever seen that guy perform, you know, he uh, he performs his heart out. He he goes crazy. Ten thousand. I seen him perform in front of ten thousand people the same way he performs in front of a hundred people. So really, um, so yeah, in that aspect, anyway, um, he. Uh, his name was able to get him in the door and my production letting the owner know that we were onto something different. We're trying to bring a crowd in here, you know, and have fun and party and make it a real function. Make it a players club, you know? So uh so that was the start of something beautiful. We started doing uh I started doing shows over at Quincy's. Um Forte was one of my first ones. Uh we also did a, a lot of different stuff. We did like me and pretty much brought everybody over there from Huss to uh to Willie Joe to uh, like Cool John and everything like that and uh yeah so so it was good because we got back in town and uh really solidified uh being able to work with a, a, a rapper like like Forte like a real OG legend and people in my area they started kind of catching on you know they they started being able to see um, that it was a real thing that that uh, we're really trying to do something for Santa Rosa and really like like start pushing our music because there's there's been a lot of people out here and a lot of talent in Rosa, but it's been coming in waves. It's it's been the OGs, Ray Love, and you know the the homies that came came out before us, um, the anti OGs, and you know all the all the homies that uh, that paved the way. Um, but you know it's it's been years. It's been years later, and so so I felt like uh, I felt like you know like uh, like it start, it sparked something inside of me. And so really, I, we just kind of ran with it, and uh, the show went good over at Quincy's. The show went really good, and he allowed us to have more shows, and more shows, and more shows. And uh, yeah, it just turned into something something special. It's, man, it's like eight years later, and we're still rocking. We're still doing stuff over at Quincy's, and coming up, man. We're still bringing RBL Posse's over there. We just did the brand new uh, rappers, uh, MB Nell and Joseph K, Live Wire. We've done Jay Stalin over there. Everybody, everyone's been over there. Everybody. It's a, it's a small area, so it's intimate, and it's really good that they let uh, hip hop live over there, because a lot of places don't do that. So, uh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Sideways in the cloud of smoke. I'm 
now everybody wants The time behind my back like a bitch would Telling the fingers you can feel you've made beats for a lot of big artists tell me about that yeah yeah um she yeah that's a that's a blessing in itself actually um and kind of funny because when i started making beats i couldn't really find anybody the reason i started making beats really um one i'm a musician i play guitar i could do a lot of different stuff on the drums but really um i didn't know anybody who made beats having pro tools uh Started looking online, doing the uh, YouTube thing, and uh, kind of just kind of started uh, started dabbling in um, the 808s and uh, laying down the kicks and laying down the uh, the hi hats and the snares. And uh, man, it kind of just came off from that. Um, so I was making beats. I was making beats. Uh, my first couple beats were okay. Um, I started getting better. I started getting better at making all the beats, uh, and uh, I started rapping on a lot of them. I think one of my first beats. Uh, called it's a it's a it's a bay thing on one of my first albums, um, and it was dope. It was a cool little beat, you know. It started making better, it started getting better and better. I started listening to more more uh, music that inspired me and started like really like picking up what I wanted to uh, sound like. And uh, man, I just started making a bunch of different beats, and I'd have people over. I have uh, like the homie R.I.P. Reek Daddy, um, the homie Jacka would come over. Um, R.I.P. the homie Jack, man, I miss that cat, uh, there'd be a lot of people and they would come over and they would just listen to him, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm me, I'm, I'm my worst critic, so, I didn't really think they're too much, but, uh, as these cats came over, um, they would like them, they would like them, they would, uh, they would tell me they're dope, and they would, uh, they would ask for the beats, I would, you know, I'd shoot them some beats and, uh, work out some kind of deal and stuff, get my features, or, uh, you know, get my, get my networking on. And it just kind of turned into, uh, they just, the beats, as they got better, as they got better, I was, I started shooting them to people and started shooting them to people. And, uh, 
and, and they used them. Uh, I think I got a uh, I got a beat on Tizzler right now that uh, D Lo and uh, Sleepy D jumped on uh, Drip Drop. Shout out to Drip Drop on the hook. That's Baby Bash's artist. Um, he ended up jumping on that because he heard it. Uh, and yeah, it was, it's it's a blessing, man. It just kind of turned. It's kind of snowball, really, is what it did. Um, as it as it progressed, it just kind of uh, it just kind of it just kind of like you know it just kind of got better. The beats got better. The people that were jumping on it, they got bigger. The names got bigger. And so yeah, now, man, now we got credits. Ooh, like I have Jacob, uh, Reek Daddy, Rapping Forte, Jay Stalin, Baby Bash. Uh, Johnny Cash, R.I.P. Coolio, the underdog, Jake Diggs, um, man, you know, like San Quinn, uh, pretty much any anybody in the Bay, um, and yeah, so. Shit, you feel me? If I could run y'all down these motherfucking streams, so what's going on? You feel me? You might be able to, uh, you can get a picture with that, you feel me? You might be able to get a, uh, get a picture with that, you feel me? Cause that, I'm still trying to comprehend what's going on over here. I'm not too good. You feel me? I'm not too good with that. been in my life so making beats kind of came like second nature um it always you know it's always like the background music for everything we do so it just you know what i'm saying like uh, it's just that that itching inside of me as an artist or like how how someone has to get uh like a painter has to get get their their painting now or like a singer you know like i know with the artists when a lot of times when when we build up with our stress or build up in life we uh we take it out on our music, so you hear it in the lyrics, and, and a lot of the times why rap is so innovative and rap is so looked at as like a respectful thing is because you're supposed to be spitting your heart, you're supposed to be spitting 
what is 100% true. And so that's why a lot of times people get mad in the game with the respect issue that people are saying things they're not really doing because there's a lot of us out here that are really trying to live our lives and put our, our hearts and our soul into the music, not just not just the, the lyrics, but like the music, the way I, we make the beats, the sounds, the way we even push the song, you know, the, the, the advertisement behind it, it takes, it takes everything. Everybody, everybody thinks it's an overnight thing, but you know, uh, a lot of it takes your own money and your own time. And it's, it's a heartbreaking thing sometimes when you don't make it, but at the same time, you have to look at it as it's an experiment and it's a, it's a stepping stone. So you never can be discouraged about what you do. You have to just kind of, kind of just like what, like step forward from it. And so, yeah. Um, yeah. So beats, man. Beats, beats are the shit. Beats, beats are everything, man. There's not enough beats in the world. Shout out to all the homies that, uh, that I get on that, that make beats. Um, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Check them out. Does the body good when I smoke on some nightmare? Told her, look, I'm the future and I'm where Hella people wanna be, hella people fuck with me I'm full shape, bitch, and I've been hustling since Yay high, I made time for playtime But still, every day I had to race to make mine Spent hella time with bitches that's hella trife Several times, and I put that on my life and told moms I'm out here, I'm out here. And you ain't got a trip cause your son's without fear. Yeah, I'm really about business. Business. I'm really with the shit and you suckers ain't with it. Ain't with Man, it. Man, this weed got me tripping. Got me tripping. It's upstate shit and the shit get expensive. So broke boys is butt hurt. Motherfuckers Butters. can't even pay your bills and just mad I'm a hustler. I'm a hustler. To the bone. I'm the realest with a skeleton. I'm not alone. There's plenty other who relevant. As you can see, that's everybody I'm stepping with. Yeah, I'm me. Motherfuckers is hella bent, hella mad, my bitches are hella bad, to the bone, titties are hella ass, checking chicken like bitch where is you at, I'm hard to the core and my bones won't collapse, they racked out, packed house, get it when I send them out, I'm feeling like a man, I ain't worried about this word of mouth, sideways, sliding down the avenue, these motherfuckers won't end before they pay their dues, track style, Circle with me slow rollers. It's like I told you, I'm a owner. Yeah, fuck a quota. I'm rolling solo when you see me. I ain't holding. Hit the stove for the soda from the kitchen to the corner product. Really turning up the whole squad out here hitting licks. Bitch, it's the mob. Fuck the cops and the politics. I'm sipping purple activists. Sir. From my goons passed away, shipping hella trife, bruh. Think about you every day. Being out here getting paid, making money different ways. But with all the stress, I wonder how I'll make it through the day. I said, I wonder how I'll make it through the day. Smoking hella weed and sipping lean to wash. I'm a hot to the bone, I'm the realest with a skeleton I'm not alone, there's plenty other who relevant As you can see, that's everybody I'm stepping with Yeah, I mean, motherfuckers is hella bent Hella mad, my bitches are hella bad To the bone, titties are hella ass Checking chicken like, bitch, where is you at? I'm hard to the core and my bones won't collapse OG Kush purple haze got my eyes blurry, eyes blurry. Rolling through more papers in a library quiet. My heavy shredding Versace, Versace lettuce Versace. Wrapped her on bedders How many bitches like seven yeah, Pipe veteran been laying it for years Now yeah. same pussy and titties Only difference he has pierced now Clear sound when I take off his G6 yeah. I'm a supplier serving dope These bitches need this I need tree sap Fat dabs I need that need Raps that. I crack to me I need rehab need Hella more. keeps stuck to my blunt like a fly trap Dope fiend bitch Always asking where a rice at Bitch, yes for product and my partner supplying it. Give it Bitch on one and act like she dying it bitch. Much respect from the plug to the cuss True product, Fouché and Perp, we all hustle. I'm a hustle to the bone, I'm the realest with a skeleton I'm not alone, there's plenty other who relevant As you can see, that's everybody I'm stepping with Yeah, I mean, motherfuckers is hella bent Hella mad, my bitch is a hella bad To the bone, titties a hella ass Checking chicken like, bitch, where is you at? I'm hard to the core and my bones won't collapse. Waking up in the middle of the night. Count 200 frocks, 100 knocks was right outside. And on my side is 30 shots. Throw up my hood with pride. They gave my cousin Kazi life. He lost in trauma, teary eyes. Everybody traumatized. Every song is a homicide. Fucked over my line, pulled up on their line. Maxed them out. Hey.